All right, it's the beginning of the long range test. I just did 200 meters and uh, we're gonna see how far this baby can go. Yeah, so that's what I did. Apollo claims this scooter has a max range of 61 kilometers, but I wanted to see how much of that it could actually do in the real world. Now you can't see this here, and to be honest, it's nearly impossible to see it while riding, is the expected range on the app, which reads 36 kilometers while the battery is at 100%. The conditions for this ride, it was pretty cold. It was four degrees when I started. And once I finished, it was six degrees Celsius. It was actually cold enough to get the GoPro to crash halfway through. The wind was quite mild and I rode on mostly dry asphalt, some gravel paths and occasional wet patches. The total ascent for the entire trip was 420 meters. The payload, that's myself, including my gear, the phone, the light, all that stuff was about 220 pounds. I had used the medium comfort mode for about 90% of the trip, while the other 10% of the time I used performance mode. The acceleration in the app was set to six and the regen braking was set to four while the lights on the scooter were turned off. I rode the scooter in a relatively normal way. I didn't drive aggressively, but not conservatively. I just rode it like I normally would, as if I was going to work or doing whatever. I just wanted to see what kind of range you would get while just riding it. The route I took was relatively chill. There were a few stop signs, a few stop lights, but for the most part, I didn't have to use my mechanical brakes. I mostly used the regen braking, and the speed actually kept up quite nicely as the ride went on, I only noticed a small dip in the acceleration nearing the end of the trip. However, at the end of the ride, the app warned me that the battery was at 0% and the battery level on the scooter showed one red flashing battery thing, at which point the scooter slowed down and it would only reach 18 kilometers per hour, after which I rode it for a few hundred meters more, reaching my front door. Though, after being stopped for a few minutes, I noticed the app read 10% battery again, leading me to suspect it was probably capable of another kilometer or two at that speed. But honestly, I can't really consider that to be part of the functional distance. So looking at the stats at the end of the trip, the total distance was 36.2 kilometers, which is 200 meters more than what the app said for the range at the beginning of the trip. It's either a coincidence or they really know what to expect from the scooter. The 36 kilometers took me about an hour and 12 minutes, consuming 24 watt hours per kilometer, which means nothing to me, but Maybe it, it means something to you guys. The average speed was 29 kilometers per hour using about 100% of the battery. But there it is, 36 kilometers. I think it's a reasonable distance. It's similar to the range of the 9Bot Max, though this is going to get you to the destination much faster. And that being said, there are many variables that affect the range. Like I said earlier, it was cold. My self-loaded up was about 220 pounds. And that's going to affect the battery life. I wouldn't be surprised if a rider who's 60 pounds lighter than me on a warm day getting somewhere around 45 to 50 kilometers out of the scooter, no problem. And actually probably even further if they rode slowly, but I just don't think that's practical. Now conversely, if a heavier rider were to take a rip on full blast, the range would be much shorter. So I think this was a good representation of the medium range, and I'm pretty glad that it actually matched up with what the app said. Now I would love a scooter that's capable of a real world 50 plus kilometers, but you know, there's no perfect scooter out there yet, though that P100S is looking pretty decent. And one more note about the range, it said 36.2 kilometers on the app, but when I actually mapped it out, the route said it was 34.4 kilometers for that entire route. So this could be an odometer problem or an accuracy with the map. So take that for what you will. I will be conducting a full review of the scooter once I get some real mileage on it, warts and all. So if you wanna see that, you know what to do. Thanks for watching.